Right guys, this is a kettlebell overhead squat. This is a quite, actually quite a difficult movement if you're not very mobile. So if you are mobile, well done. Me personally, this is actually very testing. Um, from being a regular player, I've obviously got very tight shoulders, very tight hips and lifting heavy weights. But it's one of those movements that's actually pound for pound, one of the best that you can do as long as it's safe, okay? First, we'll teach you how to get the kettlebell up into position. So from the sides, what I'm gonna do is start over that in front of me. I'm gonna hip hinge, so I'm gonna push my back back. As I swing the kettlebell, it's gonna stay above my knees and my thumb's gonna go backwards. I'm then gonna bring it onto my forearm and then press to the top and then we'll go through uh, the squat, okay? So from that position there, I swing, I catch. It's on my forearm now so I can manipulate that. From there, I'm gonna press to the top, okay? Now when performing an overhead squat, we're gonna look at is that this stays above my center of mass, which is the back of my head. You may find that this puts you off balance, but you're gonna have your legs wide, it's a normal squat position. I use this outside hand as a balance, and I like to take a big deep breath, sit, and then drive. Sit, and then drive. Now you'll see that it's trying to bring me forward, that's because I'm tight. We're trying to push that arm back, maintain that position. Bringing it down, back to the floor. 